Welcome to the July 20th, 2010 meeting of the Glendale Redevelopment Agency. Can we have a roll call, please? Agency members, Draymond? Here. Majorian? Here. Quintero? Here. Weaver? Here. Chair Friedman? Here. Can we have your report? <coughs> We have closed session, which we will read into the record at the end of the at the conclusion of the meeting before you recess. But moving on with the regular business agenda, we have the report, which is that the agenda for the July 20th, 2010 regular meeting of the Glendale Redevelopment Agency was posted on Thursday, July 15, 2010, on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Following that is oral communications, and I believe there was one card submitted. Yes, there was. Herbert Milano? Same rules will apply to this body as it did for the previous. Good afternoon, Redevelopment Agency Chair Friedman, members of the Redevelopment Agency. My name is Herbert Milano. I basically come before you to, uh, to make a, a request that um, on those days that this agency has no specific agenda uh, items of any significance, that perhaps you can schedule for the staff to give you a report on some of the basic measures concerning the state of the economy, and the state of, uh, of the results of the redevelopment agency efforts in years past. It is my contention that such issues, such as unemployment trends, that we get a continual review, increases in jobs that have occurred, you know, let's say month to month, any new openings of new construction or new uh, store openings, something that allows us to know whether the efforts of the redevelopment agency are basically having some type of definitive outcome with regard to jobs. The, um, I am very much interested in finding out how it is that a policy from the federal government with regard to the um, uh, reinvestment that the federal government hands to different cities, how they eventually turn into jobs. And I figured if we don't set objectives, we can very well say, all right, this money went into this development, but at the end of the day, we don't know if, if, it was, if the result was actual employment within that city, whether we made the effort to say, we want to engage residents that live within the city to ensure that they are getting an opportunity to work, and whether or not it is different from, let's say, an initiative being done in West LA or you know, in South Central or whatever. It's my contention that if redevelopment is making an effort here, that we make an effort to employ the residents who live here. Now, as a landlord, I am very cognizant of the unemployment situation in Glendale. Because I get to live it every single month when my tenants are laid with the rent. This is part of the reality that city employees generally don't get to see personally. I see it when my tenants are begging me to basically pay at the end of the month or to have a discount of 10% or ask for $200 less rent. And in the last couple of years, I know I reduced rents by about 15%, and I know that throughout LA County, the reduction in rents has been around 15%. So I know that we are getting much less income, but we, I'm also cognizant that many of my tenants need jobs. And if we are really going to revitalize the city, we have to make an effort to ensure that these residents have opportunities to get jobs. And I know I have an electrician living in one, as one of my tenants. He would love to get a full-time, you know, effective job. It would be nice to have an outreach to say, we're going to reach out to electricians and plumbers and uh, masons and whatever. So I would like to know if this agency can provide a report on a periodic basis to say, here is how our efforts, here is how our investments are turning into jobs, at least for the city of Glendale. Other cities may not do it, but it would be nice to get at least one good agency that will give a performance outcome on the policies that you set. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's next, please? Next is agency member and staff comments. Any comments? Okay, seeing none. Will we adjourn? But we, oh, we uh, cannot uh, recess. recess. We have closed session first, staff, being read in the record.
Allow me to read the closed session items, of which we have two at 2A's conference with real property negotiators. Property location is at 212 South Brand Boulevard. Negotiations are authorized with Antoinette and Carmen Shahinian. Agency, negotiation, agency negotiators attending closed session are Jim Starbers, Scott Howard, Michael J. Garcia, Yasmin Beers, Philip Lansfane, Anil Tatavosin, Jillian Van Maiden, and Mark Berry. Instructions to the negotiators will concern the price and terms for the purchase of the real property. At 2B is conference with real property negotiators, property locations 5426 through 5454 San Fernando Road, also sometimes referred to as 753 California. Negotiations are authorized with Glendale West LLC. Agency members, uh, agency negotiators attending closed session are Jim Starbert, Scott Howard, Philip Lansfame, Yasmin Beers, Emil Tatavosian, Mark Berry, Jillian Van Maiden, Michael Garcia, John Harris, Robert Elliott, Kevin Green, and Connie Sanifer. Instructions to negotiators will concern the price and terms for the possible acquisition of the property. Okay. So now we're we don't adjourn. We're just we're going to recess. Correct, Madam Chair, members of the agency. One, I do not anticipate that you're going to be reporting out on either of these items to give instructions to your negotiators, and two, it's be appropriate to recess to close session. We will recess then to close session. Okay. Brings us to the next meeting. Uh, I would like to call to order the joint public meeting of the Glendale City Council.